do a short video on the major brake job I'm doing on my 1965 Chrysler New Yorker with a 413 wedge A727 transmission. A great uh, driving uh, car, great uh, suspension system and good power. Anyway, uh, I'm going to do the brakes and the brake lines. So where we're at now, I've got the uh, just about ready for my parts to come in for the brakes. I had to take the backing plate off of here. Uh, and that was a little bit of an ordeal. I've got those right here. And they're basically the same except for which side is plugged at the bottom for the uh, for the uh, star wheel to turn. And uh, these bolts were kind of hard to get off. Had to use uh, about a four foot long uh, breaker bar as you can see here to get those bolts out but I had to take that take those off because <clears throat> the two bolts that holds on the uh, wheel cylinder one of them uh, was not accessible uh, with a wrench so I had to take the whole back and plate off but they're cleaned uh, not perfectly but uh, relatively clean and ready to go back on and uh, this is the pieces to the I clean the drums to the front and uh, over here on the back, so I've got that all apart, the wheel cylinder off, and have the have all the pieces to the back separated out here. And I made sure that uh, I had my star wheel uh, clean with a wire brush, power wire brush, and this painted because when you um, uh, see through the little hole in the back of the backing plate to adjust the uh, brakes it's uh, rather difficult to see this that you, if you have it too tight where you can push this uh, over here off off of the star wheel to turn it and the star wheel is to the back of the mechanism on all four wheels front and back left and right is to the back and uh, and you, when you're in the back the back behind the um, brake and uh, brake pl uh, plate back and plate you raise up on the star wheel and that tightens it down on the star wheel not your tool but the star wheel itself on all four wheels and this Chrysler has um, and the way has uh, left hand threads on the uh, on the lug nuts and it'll have you can't really see I got grease on it but it has a little L on here and so you have to make sure that you turn those like you would normally be tightening to loosen and uh, so I've got uh, over here it's off this is gonna have to to line up so it's spring-loaded down when I put it back together this comes com comes down so these two holes will have to line up with the big large bolt and here's the uh, the back one so the parts should be in in a couple days or start coming in and I'll uh, do the brakes put those back together and the uh, master cylinder and then phase two will be to take off the uh, um, all of the brake lines so there's my booster I've got the uh, master cylinder off and there's a diverter or splitter uh, block down here that'll be a challenge in to get the lines uh, on there but we'll see how that goes, my 413 wedge. And there's a little splitter block in the back that goes with a breather uh, on it that goes into the differential. And uh, so we have a line coming in, in from the front, and then two, one here and one here, they go out to the back. And this little thing here has a, and this screws into the uh, axle, and that's just a little vent. So that's cleaned up and ready to go. That's at one end of the flex line and the other end is this bracket here that attaches to the body. So one of the issues with the brakes was that um, uh, the back flex line was just about closed up. Had about a 32nd of an inch diameter hole. So the brake pedal would not come back up. The brakes were working pretty good, but uh, it wouldn't. The, the pedal wouldn't release unless you put your foot under it and then lifted it up. So anyway, there's a little brief tutorial on uh, doing the, the brakes on my uh, Chrysler. It for the day.
Uh, maybe make another one when I start putting the brakes back together. Thanks for watching.